Okay, what's up everybody? So today we're fishing for yellowfin tuna. We're gonna be we're on board of our 60 foot Bertram and we have our great friend, dear friend, uh Rodney from Canada. He's from Kelowna, Keno? Yeah. Is that did I, am I saying it right? Yeah, close enough. Kelowna. Close enough, Kelowna. Yeah, good. Okay, Kelowna. There you go. And he's actually a guide out there. If you guys uh don't follow, have are not following him on uh, Instagram, we're gonna put a link be underneath. So that you, if you guys ever wanna go out there with him. He's a super good guide. I'll be, we'll be filming with him in August, next August. And uh, well, he comes back every single year and he fishes a lot down here with us. He's actually guiding some of his friends as well. And are they all from Canada too? Uh, two of them are my guests from California. California, okay. Yep. And one of them is from South Carolina and oh. the other fellow's from Calgary, Canada. From Calgary, so just one, so only yeah. one? Yeah. Oh, our I group we had out with you last week, mm -hmm. they were all from Canada. Cool. And our I group they... coming up is from Kelowna, actually. From Kelowna? Yes. Nice. So here for three weeks. Can't get enough of this place. Can't get enough of the great service with the Turo and Tag. And I'm telling you, I fished a lot. And fishing with these guys, you, like it's like 99.999 <laughs> guaranteed, right? <laughs> So like, like Felipe says. <laughs> yes, El Jefe. So we're going to be putting together a bunch of videos with him before he goes, gets back. Because he loves fishing. He has a passion for fishing the way we do as well. And looking forward to do it. Rodney. Can't wait, man. I swear. Awesome. Let's go make a bunch of videos. Yes. Create yes. way more memories. And catch a few fish. A bunch of fish. Yes, and memories. Maybe we can break a record this year again was catching how many different species we caught in one trip. That's right. Like nine, I think. It was a lot. Even a waffle at night. Like That's when right. We coming back. That, that was, was the really, last one we needed. Yeah, and that was, my, that was my first wahoo. Yes. Because I'd never caught one before. Well, now this year we're going to yeah. catch a few more. If you're here for a full moon, I want to go give it a try to go uh, for big uh, uh, groupers. OK. Supposedly at a full moon with a high uh, with a high tide, yes, we can actually land some big ones. And I want to land. Last time we did it, we landed a 50 pounder. And uh, well, I, I, I want to see if we can land a 100 pounder. I'm in. So I don't know if you would like to do that. But yes. Let's go. Give let's it a go. Try. I'd love to do it. Okay. Cool. I'm always game. Yes, you I know that. So that's good. Let, hopefully we'll get a, a good because I've been trying for a few full moons. Yeah. But we have not got like good weather. Yeah. It's super windy at nighttime and it needs to be like today. Yes. A nice day with not not a lot of wind. And blah, right. Because you're jigging, right? Mm -hmm. No, yeah. we're actually we're, we're gonna be we're trolling slow trolling. With, slow trolling light bait with okay. uh, with with, with uh, down riggers. Ah, down. See, we have nobody to, out here does that. Well, you got you it. guys are. Are, I mean, that's why I fish with you. You guys are innovators. Yeah, well, you, you take fishing from other areas of the world yes. and try it I've been reading a here. lot, and, and that's what yes. I read, and I told Felipe, let's go give it a try. Yes. The first time we tried it, boom, we landed a 50 pounder. But which, all, which all I have never landed a 50 pound uh, yes. grouper before, which was good. But I heard that we have 100 pounders here, and just people don't target them. When they catch them, it's luck. And I don't want to say that it's luck. I just want to go and target them and make right. sure that be consistent. That, exactly. Yes. I yes. can tell. I can. I want to be able to say, tell you. We're gonna go do this and watch. It's gonna. It's gonna work. Right. Well, well, that's why I like fishing with you guys so much. Like all your captains, they they let the the clients, the people on board, help help with gaffing. Yes. If whatever they want to do, they let you help, and they're all open to learning new things and I think Correct. that's what makes your guys the best. And that's why right? we like fishing with you too. Because yeah. you bring in new techniques and new stuff <laughs> and yeah. yeah. You bring your own gear. Like your the fly rod stuff. on the tuna. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. New stuff and it's yeah. cool. It's always exciting to do new stuff. Yeah. yeah. So when it's gonna be a good day. I agree. We got Mark on the line. I can do this, Joey. 
Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. There you go. So far. Maybe he'll realize he's hooked. <laughs> Move, move, move the line side to side on the reel. Uh, we're on board of the 60 foot Bertram with Captain Angel. He's the one guiding us today. And so far, we caught already a nice mahi mahi or dorado. We call them dorados down here in Cabo San Lucas. And uh, right now, we're just going around the porpoises. Uh, and it seems like they're getting a little bit more uh, active. There's a lot of them, but they were too spread out. So, what we look for when they're that much spread out is we look for them to get a little bit closer and a little bit more active they start getting like really aggressive like going towards one side and then we just want to pass in front of them so right now that's what we're hoping for that they get a little bit more active so that we can land some uh, yellowfin tunas
Look at that color. There it is. That That's us. Okay, let's throw it in the water. Yeah, baby! That's off, off the list, man! You fought him like a champ! Good job. Good job. He didn't even get dirty. You like that? There, and off he goes. All right, fishing with Tang there Cabo out of Cabo San Lucas. I <laughs> stop, <laughs> oh. Okay, so so far we uh, we've been trolling for maybe like about an hour and thirty minutes or less than that, and we already caught a nice uh, dorado for supper for dinner, and we released a striped marlin. That's not really what we're targeting. Uh, we're using nothing but cedar plugs and. Uh, and lures that attracts the tuna, yellowfin tunas. And we're trolling right around a bunch of porpoises, the spinner porpoises, which it should bring us some yellowfin tunas. But so far we caught a, a dora nice dorado with a cedar plug and a striped marlin as well. So, so far we're doing good. Now hopefully we'll catch the yellowfin tunas right now. So we're out here with uh, Tag Cabo and I brought four of my friends. It's been a long uh, couple of years here with COVID and everybody's super pumped to be back out here in Cabo San Lucas fishing. And uh, today, our second day, we've got uh, another three days to go. Yesterday we caught some nice marlin and uh, five or six Dorado. And today we're looking for tunas, but so far we got a r our biggest uh, Dorado of the day and we got another marlin. So we're in the porpoises and uh, Things are looking really, really good. We're just so excited to be back in Cabo San Lucas again with Tag Cabo, Aturo, and all the uh, captains. Well, we had a tough time for tuna today, so we headed in close to shore, and this is our second uh, fish in the first little bit. Nice little skipjack. Took a lot of line, so it doesn't matter what you're catching, it's all fun. And I was just coming over to start stroking it, and you got it, man. Yeah. Good hook set. Good hook set. Yeah, just put, put me in on the pool. Yeah, that's a two hook set. Though. Man, you're good. Well, you need to get your own boat. At least 10 Canadians. It's a little bit of 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 a little bit Aquí mismo los avienta para abajo y pácatela. Aquí así es el kit. Well, that was on, I think, the bait. Yeah. I think it was. Oh, was it up the outside there? Yeah, so if it's on the bait, it's the drag is not even set, right? Right, 
Are you okay with that line there? Or? Have a look at that line, Mark. Uh, up or down? Well, just see. Is he under it or over it? Yeah. Pretty man. Wow. What a scrapper. Hey? No, eso es pinche. Esos barretes son buenos para los para los. Way bigger than Richard. Yeah, baby. That's how you roll. Con razón sentí que algo lo agarró. So these guys will probably eat some of those. Yeah. Yeah, they ate them last night. Yeah. But I think he said he, like he didn't know yesterday, so he didn't bleed them. But he okay, said you want to yeah. bleed them? Yeah. I think that's. Yeah, you said that, right? Yeah, if you bleed them, they're but way better too. That's what he said. But yeah. yesterday he didn't because he didn't know he wanted to take okay. one. So. I think they sangrado the way. All right, he's gonna bleed them for you. Entonces saco este, esta. Because you didn't mind that last night. Pues ya lo echar o lo saco. ¿A cuál era el que se enredó ahorita? Venía enredado con otro, ¿no? Oh, ok. ¿Este? ¿Pero qué tal si me jala un dorado? 